as I bring my speech to a close today, I plead for the patience and understanding of all Ekiti sons and daughters who are very eager to once again feel the impact of a purposeful and egalitarian government. We assure you that we are well prepared to get off the block from day one. We take full ownership of the challenges ahead of us and together we strongly believe that we shall overcome. You can also be assured that I will not rest till the burning issue of payment of workers' salaries is fully and firmly addressed. AKT shall once again play its rightful role as an integral part of the development agenda for Western Nigeria done and work with other descendants of Odudua in our sister states to leverage our respective strengths and comparative advantages in order to fast track the development of our region. I call on our development partners, corporations and multilateral agencies alike, many of whom are represented here today, to please return to Ekiti in full steam. You will find in this administration a competent, accountable, compassionate and willing partner. And you will appreciate that our governance objectives are very well aligned to global development priorities as enshrined in such instruments as the Sustainable Development Goals. Our plans and aspirations are also fittingly integrated with the programs and policies of the Federal Government of Nigeria. We are assuming office with an enviable track record of performance at the federal and state levels of governance, and we enjoy immense goodwill of all key stakeholders in Nigeria and beyond. We are ready to work with you in partnership to create landmark success stories in the shortest possible time. I assure you that my administration will be committed to best practices in governance, characterized by discipline, ethical behavior, and dedication to excellence. I also use this opportunity to appeal to the federal government to help the people of Ekiti State through this difficult time. Ekiti State economy is clearly in a state of emergency, and we deserve the urgent support of the federal government under the constitutional provision of economic stabilization for distressed states. I have no doubt that my boss, Mr. President, would accede to this request and expedite a lifeline to resuscitate our ailing economy in Ekiti State. Once again, I thank every boy, I thank every girl, I thank every man, I thank every woman, I thank every indigene, I thank every resident alike. I thank you all for granting us the mandate to lead our great state again. Ekitikete today rejoice, for once again, you can be proud to be called a son or daughter of Ekiti. You can be proud that Ekiti is once again known as the land of honor, in truth and in deed. Let us do this together. Let us build the Ekiti of our dreams, a land we can be proud to pass on to our descendants. Ekiti Kete, Njia Parapo, Ekiti Kete, let us come together. Ekiti Agbeao, God bless Ekiti State. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you. God bless you all. Your Excellency, with this speech from today, I am Any moment. Pre-chan! Now we remove Yes, to the executive governor of Ekiti State, Dr. John Kende Tami. Help, help, help! Help, help, help! Louder! 
replace headers. Replace headers. number two guard, then number three guard. Your Excellency, one thing about number three guard is form of, of women police. All the officers under the party 